test of your neighborhood. You ready for it? That means it's not a good neighborhood. She didn't even wave at me. Did not wave. How many of you guys still live in a town where people wave at you? Comment below. Alrighty guys. So for today's video, seat build is not required. This is a backing up video. A little tips and tricks video on how to back up your trailer. Uh, I'm going out on the limb here with this video. I'd assume most of you guys understand how to back up a trailer. But, for those of you guys that don't, let me shed some light on them. So, first things first is I'm going to be backing up into my grandpa's backyard with the dump trailer today. I've never done this before. Very familiar with the driveway, so that helps. And I assume the first rule would be don't let your ego get in the way. If you mess up, go ahead and pull forward. Another thing on that subject, don't let your idea of you have to do it fast to get out of the way screw with you. Always watch your mirrors. Obviously that is a big thing to do, but right here I need to turn ever so slightly, but the truck isn't quite lined up right so I can make the turn without taking my mirror off. So again, let your ego go, let your pride go, you're here to do the job not to do it in a race. Ooh. So once you just get the idea that you don't need to get in a hurry, clean and clear out of the way, then you can do the job. Most of the time backing up, if you have another helper, it goes a long way. So, real simple idea that it's hard to grasp without, you know, practice and, you know, getting it to become a habit of turning the wheel the appropriate way. It's real easy to get the hang of it by looking over your shoulder, but sometimes, what if you got a camper shell or flatbed's hole of stuff, you can't see nothing back there. You gotta do it all by the mirrors. Now. If you got too small of a trailer, you can jockey it off to one side just so you can see the trailer. Like if you have like Ram 3500s or any of the new dualies, those fenders are huge. You can't ever see any trailer behind those, especially even if the tow mirrors are out. So, but good rule of thumb, it's pretty obvious when you're backing up a trailer, the trailer is going to do opposite of what you're trying to make it do with the wheel. So if you turn right, the trailer is going to go left. So I had a buddy tell me this because I didn't really need the tip, but so if you're trying to get the truck to go right, you turn right. Whatever way, okay, so picture it like this, real simple, like this is a good dumb it down type of a thing. If you want the truck to go that way, you turn that way. But if you want the trailer to go that way, you go from the bottom of the wheel and then the trailer will go that way. So that's a real simple way to figure it out. And so right here, I had to back through a 90 degree corner, through a tiny gate, back it up, and then I got around another corner. I'm gonna have to use up all the real estate that I can to get that trailer nice and snug on the inside. I have all kinds of room up here, so I can work this truck nice and wide. But when it comes back into over here, there's room for the trailer to come through, not that much to hit my window, but your truck has to then follow around it. Now this old pickup right here is clearly gonna be in the way. So you need to get yourself set up, nice and money, and get that trailer as close to the inside as you can. Now, this is a short trailer, so it doesn't take much for me to turn tight with 5500 and spin that thing straight. 
So you get that nice and close as you can to that right there. And then the truck's gonna have to follow it. So to use all your real estate out there, you need to absorb all of it on the inside. So like I was saying, you get that trailer as far on the inside as you can. And another thing, don't let your pride and ego get in the way. A lot of guys are very comfortable just using their mirrors. But if you approach a, uh, a guy that does this full time, you know, our log truck driver, Andy, he is jumping all around in that truck looking for every angle to look at anything he possibly can to back up. So a guy that might be comfortable enough to back up with just mirrors, that's fine and dandy. But it's very beneficial to double check over your shoulder, look right here on the ground out the window, over the hood, make sure you're not turning into something with the front end. All that comes into play. So don't think that you have, like, I can understand that a lot of guys feel comfortable doing what they're doing. But if you're learning, don't be afraid to look all around and definitely don't be afraid to hop out your truck and actually see what's behind you. Because it's a lot easier off to hop out, check, oh, I'm a little too close to that, than scratching up your truck or breaking something out there. So we'll go ahead and back this up. I got it in four low, so it's a lot easier on my foot because I don't have to be slipping the clutch or burning anything up. So I'm gonna be cutting it as close as I can to that well drilling truck right there. I think I took it a little bit too wide, but Ooh, we're gonna be cutting it close. See now right here, perfect example. It's not working perfectly. The trailer is jackknifing it just a little bit on me, but I pull back far enough so I can pull forward. Because truth be told, I would say I'm pretty good at backing up a trailer, but I am definitely not afraid to hop out and look around and pull the truck forward if it needs to, because that's simply, that's what you got to do. Now I could just keep forcing it and kind of tiptoeing backwards like I was just doing and hope for it to come back around on me. Or I could just be nice and easy about it and pull forward, be done with it, and then back up with a nice straight trailer. Again, that's it's just the biggest thing, in my opinion. You can learn how to back up a trailer, but you gotta keep your head above you. Um, there's a lot of jobs that I do that I will have to back off of the main road or a highway with flagmen, obviously, to help traffic get stopped for me. But there's a lot of jobs that I gotta do with that bigger gooseneck that require a little bit of patience and finesse trying to get in there. And now skill will come after time and you know just practicing, learning how to do it on your own and just being in the field and environment of it. But you gotta keep your head pretty calm about it. I still get worked up, but I try best I can to be pretty calm. And if something's not working right, don't be afraid, just take the time. So when I came up in here the other day, I had my 04, which is essentially the same wheelbase and everything, and I turned it around up in the driveway right there. That was a pain. Now, I'll admit, I just didn't want to back up in here. But what I just did right there, even with hopping out and making camera angles changing and stuff, it was still faster just to do it backing all the way up in here than it was for me to jockey around, burn up my clutch, and all kinds of other goofy stuff trying to make this happen the other day. And now I'm exactly in the same spot the other day as I am now. Perfectly backed up, no problem. Hopped out a couple of times just to double check my surroundings. Nothing got hurt. So if you guys are, like this is a very, very easy thing to back up with, especially since I got a flatbed. I can see the whole trailer back there. I can even see the jack for the trailer. That's how low I can see off that flatbed. So I can see everything that thing's doing. I got my tow mirrors out, and if you guys are running third gen trucks, it is a very good thing to upgrade to fourth gen tow mirrors, because you can see that bottom mirror, it's not just a bubble in a corner anymore, it's a big horizon. So when your trailer is jockeying off pretty far, you can still see it without having to adjust your top mirror. Oh, so, hope you guys learned a little bit from this. Very simple video, I hope people actually like it and take some... Uh, lessons from it. I know most people in this video are probably in the same boat as I am. Been backing up a trailer since they were six. Uh, I remember when I was a little kid, my dad got me one of those little electric Jeeps and I put a trailer behind that thing like right off the bat. Uh, you know, some people get started with stuff like this early on and it's not 
the end of the world if you can't back up a trailer. And if you're on this video trying to learn how to back up a trailer, don't be afraid to ask questions. Uh, we'll give you respect because we all started off somewhere, some way, not knowing much. So I hope you got something out of this video. And we've all seen the guy at the boat ramp that's trying to back up his new boat. You know, it's not very fair to him for everybody to make fun of him because he can't back up. You know, nobody was around to teach him, you know. Uh, I understand you can learn how to do it on your own, but for somebody to take time out of their day to teach you how to back up a trailer is huge. A couple little pointers go a long way. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll tell you what. I am going to knock out the contest giveaway right now Well, we got this thing going. Alright guys, so I tried to do this earlier but I did not have enough cell service at my grandpa's house in order to do this. I needed to be able to use online stuff. So it's just a website, it's comment picker. You put in the, um, the YouTube um, link for the video, the Christmas video, and then you just simply hit go. Now what I'm going to do is whoever... I picked from this right here they need to contact me I will find their comment and say hey you won and you will need to email me back a photo of your truck proving to me that you have a Dodge diesel uh, that fits the standards for the fast cooler and then I will send you not only just the fast cooler but I will send you one of my hats right there so we'll go ahead and get this started and find out who won Hmm, okay. Let's start the raffle. No kidding. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Robert. He comments all the time. Good stuff. Alright, Robert Walters, you are the winner, good sir. Go ahead and read your comment. It says, Merry Christmas, Sam. I'm surprised to see a video this morning. I try to make a video every day for you guys. Uh, love the fast coolers. I had them on my old 03 NV4500 truck. Super quality and fit finish. Wish I had a Facebook page to get in on the giveaway though. Uh, for my 05 NV5600. Uh, great content. Hope you blow past 5k and keep going. Said it before and I'll say it again. Single best Cummins blue collar related channel out there. Thank you man. That means a lot. I really appreciate that. So, oh. <sighs> I'm going to go ahead and text you, man. Now, I did make an exception. Uh, people did reach out to Fast Cooler's Facebook page and say hello and all that good stuff, which I really appreciate showing him some love. But I did not realize that there's hardly, um, there's a small percentage of people that actually have Facebook. So, I kind of nixed that idea uh, to get more people involved at the contest or the giveaway because I didn't want somebody not being involved because they simply didn't have a Facebook page because they didn't um, believe in Facebook or they just didn't want one. So, comment and subscription to my channel was plenty good enough. He also said uh, if you did say something to uh, Fast Cooler's Facebook page, thank you very much. I really appreciate that and I'm sure he does as well. But either way, thank you guys so much for the support. We made it past 5,000 and we're still climbing. I think today we made it to uh, 5,100. Still going up. Uh, just trying to keep plucking away and we'll make something good happen with this channel. I appreciate the community and the positivity is awesome. I am very, very grateful for that. Hardly any thumbs downs. I did the math on it and we're like a 1% thumbs down channel. So, good community, good people. Let's keep it growing. Go ahead and get back to this backing up video. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please hit them buttons, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the t-shirts and hats and jackets my birthday is at the end of this month, and it is my goal to have the website rocking and rolling in order to sell stuff to you guys and help support the channel. I really appreciate you guys. The guys have been looking for buy a hat and jacket ever since day one. I just want to make it official and have the website going. I started on the website. I just got to take some photos and get the banking stuff set up, and we'll be good to go. So if you guys are interested in a hat or a jacket, they will be available right off the bat. And uh, mind you, all the stuff that we are doing, the jackets, obviously we didn't build the jackets, but the embroider work, if you order a jacket, I will give you the option if you want custom embroidered name on the front. If your name's, you know, John, but you like Johnny, I'll put Johnny across there. We'll get those good for you so that you got a nice touch on your jacket. And as for hats, everything's in-house. 
this is all laser engraved on the leather and we stitch everything on in-house so it won't be uh you'll have to allow a little bit of turnaround time for mom and pop shop to get this thing all done up but we're i'm trying to support uh, my family a little bit with this give them opportunity for some more business and help grow the channel so if you guys are interested in those hats and jackets and we will have t-shirts as well uh, at the end of this month the website will be live i promise you that but thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video hit that thumbs up button subscribe if you have not already and comment below let me know how long you guys been backing up a trailer you know guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you next time thank you bye